Hi, this video is to show you how to set up a scan to network folder on a Lexmark printer. So first of all, just grab the IP off the printer, which is usually on the top um, top bar. Uh, enter that into a browser, then that will take you to the EWS of the printer. From there, what we have to do is click on apps. Uh, then scan to network folder, configure. This is where you add the new folders. So, how to set up a folder? So this here is a folder I've just created, Lexmart scans. This is where I want all the uh, scans from the Lexmart to go. So what I have to do from here, is go add users. Go type into a search bar, go to add users, add a PC, add someone to my PC. Don't want this person to sign in. Uh, user without Microsoft. Yeah. So, who's going on the PC? I'm just going to simply let, name it Lexmark. Nope, that wrong. Lex. Mark, and yeah, I'm going to go scans, scans, yep, security questions, one, two, three, next. So what I've done here is I've just created a user account that I can put onto um, the back end of the printer. So this will allow the printer access to the computer where the scan document is. So from here, I click on the properties of this document, go to sharing. So this is a path, this will become important later. Go share, add Lexmark. Yep, Lexmart's done. Make it read write. Share. Done. So now I've just given the permissions for that Lexmart scans user to access this Lexmart scans document. So now the printer, once we put all the details on the printer, the printer can access this computer and then access that file. So from here, we'll go back to here in the scan center we just have to add that new folder so create new folder display name we'll just go lexmark scans this here is the important part so this is what you need this network path so again i'll just show you just go right click properties sharing then copy and paste this entire path to this section here then from there you go down here use a static username and password again it would just be the username and password of the account we just created so lexmark scans this connection success so that means the printer is now now able to access directly this uh, lexmark scans document so once the scan is made it can send it Send the document to the, to the folder, no problems. There we go, that's all done. Yep. With this file here, you can also name the type of, you can you can change the name of the file you want. So say scans, documents, whatever you would like to set, like it to say. Um, change the date, to, uh, the time format, you can change it to month, month, day, day, year. It's up to you, up to you. Um, highly compressed. Or you can make it searchable if that's what you want. Uh, we like to just leave it at highly compressed. Yeah, as you can see, Lexmart scans the document is there. Then from there, you simply just need to create a shortcut. Let's get a shortcut name again. Lexmark scans the unique number. Let's go. Let's go eight. 
uh, display on the home screen, start immediately when scanning. Then from there we go add network folder, select the network folder we just created, add that in, and that's all done. So with scan settings, this is pretty much how the quality of the, um, the scan you're putting through. So content, is it text? We usually put it on text photo. If it is a mixture of text and photos. If, if, if you're simply just um, scanning through text documents like invoices, then text is fine. Uh, blank page removals. So we usually like to put that on and max that out. Original document, we usually put on uh, double-sided. So with a double-sided and blank page removal on, so even if you have a single-sided document, it will scan both back and front, but with a blank page re removal, if it's a single-sided document, the blank page will not be saved on or sent. So that's pretty much all done.